Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This is in all 12. What's coming towards you in love? So let's get into this and see what's coming up. Guys, if there's anything that you're looking for um, that you might need, my information to book a reading or our link to our Etsy store. Everything's in the description box below the video. So let's get into this for Aries. Tell me about Aries. What does Aries need to know? What's coming towards them in love? What's happening with Aries in love? You may find that the person that you're, this new person that you're meeting or you're falling for could be a player. So let's see what's happening for Aries. Tell me about Aries. Yeah. excuse me Aries you may have met somebody new but they're a player because this person's juggling you they're juggling you um I feel like um there's betrayal and heartbreak here and you may walk away from this person because you found out that they've offered something to a third party queen of swords You're manifesting, closing the cycle out. So, Aries, this new person that you met is a player. They're a player. This new love is a player. And I feel like you're going to figure that out, that they have maybe offered something to somebody and you're manifesting, closing the cycle and walking away. Um, it's disappointing, especially if you like the person and find out that they're, you know, Play in the field. Okay, so tell me about Taurus, please. Tell me about Taurus. Oh, okay. Okay. So I feel like you need liquid courage because of some storm warnings. Um, I feel like, you know, this is like you coming home from work and needing a drink. <laughs> saying just pour me a double because i'm tired yeah so liquid courage because of storm warnings upheaval obstacles um you just need a drink you're having a day i feel like you're just having a day taurus you just need to have have a glass of wine or um, a beverage an alcoholic beverage to make you relax Well, I can see what the problem is already. Nobody's holding back. You have a queen of cups and you have a queen of swords. And both of them are from your past. <laughs> Taurus, Taurus, you need, I feel like you're single. I feel like they found out you're single Taurus and now you got it. You got people, you got people that are, are coming at you. Okay. So you have a queen of cups, a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. You have a Gemini Libra Aquarius coming at you from your past. They found out that you're single and they're not holding back. They're not holding back. Here they come there. You're going to try to do a balancing act for a long time. You got to look at things from a different perspective. I can see why you're having a hard time. It, the minute you found out, somebody found out that you're single and you're ready to mingle, your past shows up at your door. You may be trying to hold back and be patient for a long time, but you got to look at things from a different perspective. So I feel like 
I feel like one, um, the person that you are recently single from could be an Aries Leo or a Sag, but you may have two people from your past that found out that you were single and there they are. They're showing up the minute that they know that you're broken up. They may be watching your social media. They are ready to, to jump in with both feet. So you, I feel like you have held back been patient for a long time, but you got to look at things from a different perspective about the queen of wands. The queen of wands, I feel like is the person that you are now single from, right? Because you may have been with this person for a long time, but you're not speaking because of an argument and you're both heartbroken. So here's the thing. Here's the thing, Taurus. You need some, you need a drink, you need a drink. And I feel like the reason you need a drink is these women are showing up at your door, ready to put a tag on your back, bag and tag. That's what they're trying to do. But your heart still belongs to this other person. And you're not speaking because of an argument and you're both broken hearted. So I would have that drink and I would take a deep breath and I would still ignore these two that are coming towards you because it's not over between you and your, um, Aries, Leo or Sag. You're still, you're still in the mix with the Aries, Leo and Sag. Those other two people, they're just, <laughs> man, I mean, I didn't realize, I didn't realize that it was, it was, it was getting bad out in them streets. <laughs> it's getting really bad when the minute they find out you're single, they're knocking at your door. Holy cow. Okay. Gemini. Tell me about Gemini. What's happening, Gemini. You also need liquid courage. Somebody might get me <laughs> to get drunk at the wedding. Somebody got drunk at the wedding. Tell me who got drunk at the wedding. You may have an ex getting married. You may tell me about, tell me about Gemini, please. Gemini, Gemini, you, you need a drink. Somebody's getting married or you got drunk at the wedding. See, You're fighting with somebody. You're not, you're not talking because of an argument or a fight, but this person's going through with what they want to do. They're get, somebody's getting married. Somebody's going through with the wedding. They're moving forward with their new beginning. And you may not be speaking to this person because of an argument. Whoever this is, wow. Okay, Gemini, 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 Gemini. You have somebody that you were arguing or fighting with and that caused you not to speak to this person. And this person's going to go through with their new beginning. Now, if you were a side person in this relationship, which that's what it looks like, Gemini, that you may have been a third wheel in a relationship. Okay. This person may have been engaged to somebody else. And, th and you may have gotten in an argument or a fight because them, because they were engaged, but they're going through with their new beginning. I felt like you were trying to be patient. You're trying to find peace, but you're coming in as a queen of wands here. And that me, that leads me to say that Gemini, you may have been a third wheel in this relationship because you're coming in as the queen of wands. The truth about love, you're in love with this person and you want to work on this situation. So you might, you also could be wanting to tell somebody the truth that you're in love with this person and that you want to work on it. So I feel like what you're going to do is you're going to be honest with the person that you're in love with. 
and tell them how you feel so that they they want to work on the situation with you instead of going through with what this because I feel like they're going to regret it if they don't. I feel like there's going to be some regret. So Gemini, you may be a third wheel in a situation that you need liquid courage because they may be getting married or you found out they're engaged to somebody um, and that they're going through with it. So I feel like you're going to tell this person how you feel. Tell me about cancer. Okay, you see me shuffle that. Liquid Courage has come out three times. Okay, so... You could be on a vacation. You may be going out with the girls. You may be going out for the weekend. Um, whatever, you're going to be partying, having a good time. You're going to be traveling and probably needing to drink. Tell me, tell me what's happening. Tell me about what's happening with cancer. Cancer. Oh, this is a masculine cancer. Oh, oh, I don't have to go any further. Cancer, 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 cancer. I don't know if this was spring break or if this was somebody was traveling for a destination wedding or somebody was just going out of town and traveling, but there's a tower of a broken heart. King of cups because of an empress and somebody communicating the harsh truth when they have a heart to heart talk. So I feel like what happened is, um, there was an indiscretion. You may have been traveling. You may have gone to Vegas for the weekend and you did something you shouldn't have. You did something you shouldn't have. You got drunk and you did something you shouldn't have when you were traveling because that tower of a broken heart is coming to you. Cancer. Now you could have a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Um, or, you know, an empress, this could be, this could be, um, you both could be cancer also could be Libra Taurus, but I feel like it's a king of cups. That's, you know, communicating the harsh truth, having a heart to heart talk that it's going to bring down a tower. It's going to literally break their heart. They're going to be honest that they may have screwed up while they were out of town. They were, they got drunk and did the nasty. They did something because that is a heartbreak ha happening with a tower moment. Yeah. Somebody did something they shouldn't have done. And tell me about Leo. I don't know if this is a love offer, but you've got storm warnings. Um, whatever this proposal is, somebody, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a wedding proposal. It could be a proposal of any kind. Um, it even could be a proposition, believe it or not. So with that storm warnings, upheaval, obstacles, the wrecking ball, drama. Tell me about Leo, please. I feel like what you've got here, you got a new passionate beginning under the bottom of the deck. Leo, you could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. I feel like that you see their mind games and manipulation. You seeing this, you see the, the, the mind games and manipulation that this person's uh, bringing to the table here. 
whatever they're offering, they're trying to win at all costs. Whatever this is that this person's bringing to you in this proposal, it's going to bring storm warnings. So whatever they're offering you, um, where this 10 of cups is concerned, they're saying use your intuition because it's toxic as hell. This person could be obsessed with having sex with other people. Well, you've got the devil and the ace of wands. Um, this is like you needing to do some soul searching because there's deception here. This also could be someone's manifesting deception. This person is bringing, is going to bring, um, a lot of gloom and doom into your life. So whatever they're proposing, don't take it. Don't take this proposal, whatever this is, whatever they're offering, leave it at the door. Tell me about Virgo. Virgo. What do we got, Virgo? What do we got? Okay. This is about you using your intuition about this message. Yeah, this is going to get, you're going to get some kind of message, Virgo, that is really going to make you think about this. You know, um, use your six senses, your gut feeling about this message, because whatever this person's telling you in this phone call or in this communication, you really need to use your intuition. Go with your gut. Go with your gut with this one. Tell me about Virgo. Go with your gut on this one. See, I feel like this is about your judgment. See, this is about your judgment. Use your intuition, whatever this communication is about. I feel like you are the empress here, uh, Virgo, and you need the strength because you're, this person's sending you over the edge. This person's causing you to have a panic attack, a full on panic attack with that eight of swords and the nine of swords. You are not only trapped in your head, but you're having sleepless nights. This person has just got you, um, wound up tighter than a spring. You're going to turn around and screw yourself right into the ground. You're so wound up over this because you feel, you know, you know that there's not going to be any equal give and take in this situation. You already know they're saying, use your intuition about this. Your judgment is telling you that this person is hiding something. Your judgment is, t this is your, this is your intuition flaring up right here. Your intuition is telling you no. No on this. Your judgment is saying no. There's something hidden. There's not going to be any equal give and take. In this situation, like this is uh, not going to end in your favor. So really use your intuition about this message that you're going to get. Tell me about Libra. Tell me about Libra, please. Ooh, okay. Hookups. This person hooks up with other people. They think the grass is greener. This is a toxic relationship. Tell me about Libra. Tell me about Libra here. Tell me about Libra, please. One more. Here we go. Okay. So this is something that you're at a crossroads. You're very guarded and defensive. You need to close the cycle out. You need to end this karmic cycle. You're in a karmic cycle right now, Libra. And this is causing you to be very guarded and defensive. It's like you've gotten through eight big battles here and you have one wand left. Okay. But you're at a crossroads wanting justice. But this person plays mind games and manipulates you. They try to control the situation. This is not going to get better. This person's in and out. This is an F boy. This is somebody who's there for a good time, not a long time. They're not going to ever. They play mind games and manipulate you and they're in and out. They're in and out. They're not going to be 
They're, they're not going to be loyal to you. This could be a woman. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a man. Libra, you could be a masculine. And this is a queen of wands, somebody who's a party girl, somebody who's um, like uh, always in and out doing their thing, playing mind games, manipulating you. Um, it is something you need to walk away from. This is the grass is, is let them, if the grass is greener, Go water that lawn. You know, I feel like you're, you don't need to, to even worry about this person likes to hook up with other people. So is that just showing? No, it's showing too. Okay. Um, I feel like Libra, I feel like this person's playing mind games with you. They're always in and out. They're doing their thing. Be careful with this one because it is a toxic relationship. This person is very non-committal, non-committal. Tell me about Scorpio. Tell me about Scorpio. So I feel like someone wants to keep your relationship hidden. You're kind of confused about the relationship. Tell me what's, tell me what. Scorpio needs to know. Tell me about Scorpio's relationship. Are they hiding you? Are they keeping it hidden? You got unknown, enigma, illusion, confusing. This is about a, a partner, a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Yeah. See, they're mani you're manifesting. This is you being confused all the time, manifesting, being trapped in your head all the time. And the reason is, is you're guarded and want to end the cycle, want to close this door, right? Your judgment's telling you that you deserve justice here, that you deserve justice for the burdens. And you've got to look at things from a different perspective. You got to look at things from a different perspective. You're manifesting being in your head all the time, Scorpio. This person is hiding you. And more than likely, there's another person or another relationship. Because if, why would they keep your relationship secret? Yeah, unless they've got, they're married or they've got um, a girlfriend, another girlfriend, right? So I feel like it, the burden is you seeing the the problem. You've got to take a step back and look at this because all you're doing is manifesting confusion in your head, being trapped in your head. You know that you deserve better than this. You deserve better. Um, I would move on right away from that. I wouldn't bother with that at all. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Tell me about Sagittarius. Okay. So you have a twin flame or soulmate. This could be a soul contract, um, past, past life connection, truth, honesty. Someone can be confessing or revealing a secret to you. Tell me about Sagittarius. I do see that. I do see that. Somebody wants a new beginning with you. They're going to confess something. The truth is going to come out from an emperor. This is what this is. This is literally these two cards right here. Truth and um, twin flame. You've got the emperor and the ace of swords here. Um, Sagittarius. I feel like there could be a third party that's manifesting drama could be this person works with this person and they want to be honest with you. Emperor wants, wants justice in a new beginning. So I feel like a truth is going to be spoken. You're going to find out about this person and their drama. It's a third party. 
But I feel like this emperor is telling you this. They're taking control of the situation because they want justice in the situation with a new beginning. This person wants to be with you. They don't want to be with this other person. And they're going to lay all their cards out on the table because if they're honest about it, there's nothing that that person can come at you with. So if they're very upfront with you on this, you're going to be very much informed and know that this person wants this new beginning with you and you're not going to have to worry about this person. This person's taking away that other person's power. So that person that's trying to manipulate or cause drama, um, the emperor's taking control and checking it. They're checking this person big time. Okay, so tell me about Capricorn. So Capricorn, you need to use your intuition because you've been, um, why somebody keeps disappearing, why somebody is ignoring you or rejecting you. You need to use your intuition here. Tell me about Capricorn. Okay. Yeah, illuminating a choice. Mm. So Capricorn, you need to look at things from a different perspective. It's going to illuminate you using your intuition about why this person's ghosting you or rejecting you or why you feel like you're being ignored or why they're disappearing or being silent where you're concerned, illuminating a choice. There is another relationship. They have a choice between two in a relationship and they may have moved on because, uh, of the other relationship. They may tell you that there's burdens they may tell you that there's problems in your relationship or this to me i think this is a fabricated i think this is fabricated to cover their ass that's what this is okay so someone's communicating about the burden com communicating about the burden in your relationship so use your intuition this isn't about there being issues in your relationship with this person this has to do with this person has another relationship period right this person is toxic this person is the devil. So this person is in that devil energy. And you need to take a step back and look at it from a different perspective so that you see the truth. You see the truth. King of Pentacles. There you are. See the truth, King of Pentacles. You may be a little broken hearted because they walked away, but you'll, you'll get over this. I promise you, you'll get over this. So you'll get over this. Um, there was another relationship there. Tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius. Oh. Somebody may be taking a risk by proposing something here now again that proposal card could be an engagement it could be a love offer it could be an agreement or a wish come true but somebody is taking a risk by proposing something it could be a business opportunity as well so tell me about aquarius got to look at things from a different perspective there's deception Okay, Aquarius, this isn't even about love. I don't feel like it's about love. You've got to look at things from a different perspective. So there's deception here. Somebody's wish fulfillment, King of Pentacles. It's almost like 
they're trying to end something. They're trying to cause something. It's been a long time coming there that they've been hiding it. Somebody, whoever you're dealing with, if they're proposing something to you, it's a bad offer. Whatever they're offering, there's a, like, this is a bad offer. This person has been trying, yeah, 10 of swords. This is betrayal. Somebody, it's somebody they're intentionally hiding something for a long time. So you need to really close out the cycle because there's nothing good going to come of this. With this, with this, um, looking at things from a different perspective, when you take a step back and look at the bigger picture, you will see that they're lying to you. You're going to find out that they're lying to you. And it's been going on for a long time. They, they've been hiding things. They've been keeping secrets. So whatever this proposal is, do not take it. I don't feel like it has to do with love. I feel like it has to do with, I don't know why I'm feeling, um, partnership working, um, could be, it, I, I feel like it was money related more than love related, but it, it could be love related for somebody because this is a general reading. So let's see what we have. So take it out resonates with you. Tell me about Pisces. Oh, Pisces. I feel like you both feel the magnetic attraction. You want to give each other a second chance. I feel like you're very drawn to one another. You're very drawn to one another. Um, I feel like this person has, this is the same person in both cards. This person may have a beard. Yeah, at this reconciling, they may miss you. That magnetic attraction that you guys have. Somebody's doing some soul searching about all the drama. Thinking about all the drama. They're single and moving on, but I feel like they want to come back and apologize. They're still trying to hold on to you because they are. They want to be with you. They feel that draw to you, right? It's like this is a wish to overcome some obstacles so that you can reconcile. It's illuminating a happy relationship. So I feel like you got this one, Pisces. I feel like this is a, you guys are drawn to one another and you guys want to, you know, maybe do some soul searching about the drama, figure it out so that you can move forward and um, reconnect. You both want to be with one another. You're feeling that draw towards the relationship. So there you go, Pisces. You got love coming towards you. So guys, that is all I have for you. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a blessed week.